In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Impulse to your computer and talk you through the two options that you have for door control using your Impulse. Option one is AutoMap, which is a piece of legacy software which was used for door and plug-in control. However, since AutoMap's release, DAWs have become much more sophisticated with MIDI controller integration and AutoMap is no longer supported. Option two, which is the option that we recommend, is Huey. Huey is a protocol used by many DAWs and MIDI controllers and allows users to have hardware control over a range of functions like track volumes, pans, sends, transport, and more. Please note, if you do want to use your impulse with AutoMap, do not complete this firmware update. Since AutoMap is no longer supported with future software updates, I'll be focusing on the Huey update in this video. So now I'm gonna show you how to update the firmware of your Novation Impulse keyboard to add Huey functionality. As discussed, this allows it to work with DAW software without the use of AutoMap. Firstly, make sure you've downloaded MIDIOX, which is the program that we're gonna to use to send the firmware to the Impulse, and make sure you've downloaded the .syx firmware file. You can find links to both of these in the description below this video or in the accompanying Help Center article. Hold down the Shift, Plus and Minus on the keyboard and continue holding these whilst you connect the USB cable. This will put the Impulse into bootloader mode. Exit should now be displayed on your Impulse's screen and you can now release the Shift, Plus and Minus buttons. Open MIDIOX and click on the Options menu and select MIDI devices. Ensure that Impulse is highlighted in the MIDI output section and then click OK. Open your Downloads folder and drag the .sysx firmware file into the MIDIOX window. The sysx view and scratchpad window should now appear. Click on the Command window menu and select Send sysx. The Impulse's LCD should display the word Update. This may take some time to complete. The firmware on your Impulse will now be updated. To check the firmware version of your Impulse, unplug the USB cable and then hold down Shift, Plus and Minus on the keyboard and continue holding these whilst you connect the USB cable. You'll now see Exit displayed on the screen. Press the plus button twice and you should see version displayed on screen. Press down on the encoder and you'll see boot on screen with three numbers. Press plus again to see the main firmware version and this should be 710. We have a set of videos showing you how to set up your Novation Impulse with a DAW, which you can find on the YouTube card or in the description below this video. If you're having any issues with this update, you can contact technical support using the link below.